trams has really got everybody going this morning um, because there are, we, we, we've heard a bit this morning about plans to introduce trams to Hereford. Uh, campaigners hope to get the disused railway line um, to back in action to help take traffic out of, uh, out of the city centre. We spoke earlier on to, to Gareth Callan Davis from Ledbury. He's a transport geographer and he's been helping come up with the plans. We're talking about what we call a kinetic energy tram. It operates off a flywheel. A little donkey engine will start the flywheel. Once the flywheel is started, that generates the energy. Therefore, you don't need any overhead electricity. The track is comparatively lightweight. It's what we call carpet track. It's almost like a model railway. You can put this track down and take it up as you want to. It's basically a very lightweight system. And uh, these trams run quite happily on this lightweight system, especially in a Hereford situation, okay. where you consider that the length of line of the Great Western Railway is virtually level all the way. Uh, so, trams, we started talking about this a little bit earlier on. Um, the reason being, we, uh, we were chatting to a, a bloke called uh, Gareth Callan Davis from Ledbury. Um, he's campaigning to bring trams to the streets of Hereford. Um, quite a sort of low-cost version of trams. I caught well, this is what he was saying earlier on, but we'll let you hear a bit of what he said earlier on, um, later on in the show. But he, he was basically saying it's a, it uses lightweight track, it's a fairly cheap system, and it would be a way of solving transport problems. Um, quite a few cities have done this on various scales. There's the, the bit mentioned that's gone into Birmingham. Uh, there's plans to widen that out. Whether it'll ever happen, I don't know, because they've been banging on about that for about 20 odd years. Um, Sheffield have got a fairly decent tramway, haven't they? Manchester, uh, they've done the same thing as well. Um, Nottingham, I think they've got a bit, haven't they? Sheff uh, mentioned Sheffield, haven't they? Croydon, I heard from someone who's, uh, who's used that as well earlier on. So, what do you reckon? Is it time to go back to this? I, mean, I, I was in um, Berlin not that long ago, oh, amazing tram network there. So it's quite a European thing, isn't it, having trams out and about? And 100 years ago, they were a regular fe feature on the streets of Worcester. Um, so what do you think? Is it the answer? Uh, 0345 300 8181. Um, let's talk to John Harrington from uh, Hereford Transport Forum. Morning to you. Good morning, Elliot. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Is, is this really the answer? Because they, they're not cheap, are they, <coughs> tram systems? Well, it depends. It depends what you're going for exactly. Um, they are relatively cheap. This type of system is. This, this type of system that um, Gareth is talking about um, is relatively cost-effective because it runs on a kinetic flywheel, so it doesn't require the overhead, sorry, the overhead infrastructure. Um, and, and effectively, all it needs is a kind of an existing track or a pathway, which we have in the Great Western Way. So, yes, I think it is a solution. It's part of a solution. That's the point. It's one of a very good... Uh, number of options that we should be applying to sort of traffic out in Hereford instead of simply trying to build you know a bypass which is probably 10 years away before we get another bridge so what I mean I'm, we mentioned the fact that, that, that Worcester had trams and there's lots of other cities around the I mean at one point pretty much all big cities or big-ish cities had trams of, 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 of some description so why did we if they're so good why did we get rid of them I think the motor car came along uh, at a time in the 50s and the 60s that it made it very convenient for people to sort of say, well, we can go exactly where we want to go. It was the age of the motor car, it was the age of the petrol engine. Um, so a lot of things were done away with in, in, a, in a way that a lot of our railway tracks were done away with, with beaching reports and all sorts of other things. But it, it, it doesn't mean it was a bad idea then. It's simply that a, a different form of transport came along, which everyone you know, thought was, was, was useful and convenient, and which obviously manufacturers, especially engine manufacturers and companies pushed, and oil manufacturers or producers. But they actually were a good system. Uh, and the system that we're talking about here in Hereford looking at is, is a sort of hybrid. Um, it, it's actually sort of a cheaper version that particularly would suit Hereford, I think. And it's something we should we, we look at. It costs us nothing to look at it. I mean, at the moment, I think, you know, the chaps are going to look at it, are literally doing it for free. Well, we've spent hundreds of thousands on consultants to tell us where to put a bypass, you know. Um, so I'm sure we can spend a fraction of that letting someone have a look at something like this. The only thing is, though... Um, John, you have to dig up the roads, don't you, to put track in? So isn't that going to cause even... I mean, eventually you get the payoff because you get the tram system, but in the meantime, which could take years, you cause absolute chaos, don't you? You're putting the tracks back in. Well, 
know who's using those roads. We're not talking about going on the main road in Hereford. We're talking about going on the Great Western Way. Right. So that actually, there's an old track that exists that goes all the way from Rotherwas, all the way round towards um, Hinton, Hunderton, over the, over the bridge um, and into sort of West Fading area of Hereford, White Cross, then all the way up um, towards Homer, and then actually curls all the way round to the railway station. So it'd be absolutely ideal. Um, no one's going to complain if um, people, if there's work being done on those tracks. They could probably still get pedestrian access anyway. Um, and we're not putting in overhead cables. You know, we're not putting in electrified cables. We're simply putting um, simple cables down, as far as I can, you know, know, mm. to, to make the system, you know, to give, to give the system a go. And how likely do you think people would be to use it? Oh, very likely. Let's say you lived in Belmont at the moment and you had to struggle down the Belmont Road. Mm. If you had an option, which meant you didn't have to sort of walk a couple of miles. I mean, I think someone told me that I think, no, I know for a fact that I think 52% of journeys from Belmont are less than two miles into Hereford. So basically all those people, if they could have a better option of not getting wet or not risking their lives on the current system of using a bike down the middle of the road, if they could jump on a tram and go across the bridge at Hunterton and get all the way up into either central Hereford or up into Homer, up into the industrial estates there, they'd use them. I'm sure they would. And we could make it cost effective. You know, I know that, um, I know that the city council is keen on this idea. Well, the city council is not the council that controls Herefordshire, but it, it is a parish council, but it, it, it is interested in this idea. I know the mayor of Hereford is very interested, Jim Kenyon. Hmm. I know the main opposition party, uh, it's our county, they fully support looking at it. And the important thing, I think, Elliot, is to say, let's have a look at it. Let's have a proper look at it. Let's spend a fraction of the amount of money we're spending trying to push a road agenda. Let's do that to look at other options. Hereford's at a point now where we have to act like a sensible little city. And if you go anywhere else in the world, as you just said, Berlin, if you go up to Manchester, they've all come up with little systems to work for their cities. And we've got to look at options. And I think this could work. Well, uh, listen, we'll, uh, we'll watch this with interest. John, really good to speak to you. Thank you very much. Uh, John Harrington from Hereford Transport Forum.